What's down with you good people? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make a chopped barbecue beef sandwich. But I'm going to do it in a pressure cooker. Y'all stick around. Cook! Alright, so this is what I'm going to use. Usually when they make a chopped beef sandwich, you know they use brisket. But today I'm going to use some chuck beef. It's cut rib style, you know, long ways. They just call it rib style, but it's just chuck beef. And this is what we're going to use. I'm not going to trim any of the fat off of it. I'm going to leave the fat on it because that is going to add flavor to this sandwich. And these are the seasonings that we're going to use to season this beef. I'm going to use a half a tablespoon of paprika, a half a tablespoon of black pepper, a half a tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a half a tablespoon of brown sugar. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add all of the seasonings to the beef. And we're gonna give it a good mix. And as you can see, it is well seasoned. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a little bit of mustard. You know, this gives it that tang. And we're just gonna mix that in. Now our beef is well seasoned. Everything is fully incorporated. Now we're gonna pop them into our pressure cooker. So first I'm gonna add one cup of water. Then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of beef bouillon. And then I roughly chop three cloves of garlic. They don't have to be diced, uh, but use some fresh garlic. And then we're just gonna add our meat to the pot. Just take a look at that. It's all seasoned, well seasoned. You can see it on the meat. So we're gonna put the top on our pressure cooker. We're gonna put it on pressure cook on high for 50 minutes. Trust me, this meat is gonna be so tender by the time those 50 minutes are up. So those 50 minutes are up. Now it's time to release the pressure from the pressure cooker. And now this is what you have. The juices that this beef has made is so flavorful. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove the meat from the pot to the bowl. And this meat is so tender, I'm telling y'all, it was just falling apart. You know, we're not gonna even do any chopping. Look, it's just falling. We don't have to chop it. Once I get it all into this bowl, I'm gonna use my spoon to break this meat apart. So I use some sweet and spicy barbecue sauce this is where the spice is going to come from 
Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the barbecue sauce to the meat while it is still scorching hot. That way the barbecue sauce heats up with the meat and it mixes well with the meat. And like I said, we don't have to chop it at all. All I'm doing is mixing it with a spoon and the meat is breaking smooth apart. And at this point, you can add as much barbecue sauce as you like on your sandwich. And this is what we have, guys. Chopped barbecue beef, even though we did it with a spoon. Now over to the stove. I heated up a pan. I melted some butter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute some onions. You know, when you get a chopped beef barbecue sandwich, usually the onions are raw. But I'm just going to saute them a little bit. I want to get a little char on them. I don't want them too soft. I want them to still have some bite to them. Okay, so the onions are where I want them to be. I just wanted a little char on them, like I said. I don't want them too soft, and I don't want them too hard. They're ready to come off. So now we're gonna get started on our buns. I added a little butter to the same pan. I spread it some mustard on both sides and we're gonna lay them down mustard side in a pan and let them toast up so I let them toast up on that side for about two to three minutes flip them over and let them toast up on the other side for the same amount of time now that our bread is all toasted it's time to assemble our sandwich now we're going to get some of our chopped beef get a good mixture make sure we have some barbecue sauce mixed in with the meat we're gonna place it on top of our bun and we're gonna stack this thing high, you guys. We're gonna add our charred onions you can add as much or as little as you like, is your preference. Then we're gonna top that with some pickles, top it off with the other bun, and we're ready to begin. You know, place this on the side of some baked beans and you have your barbecue sandwich. Now it's time to dig in, taste this thing, and see what it's working with. The beef was so juicy and so tender, I don't even have to tell you. You could tell when I was breaking it apart with a spoon. Look, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. But until then, I see y'all next time.